Honky Tonk. We've all heard the term, but where did it come from? Well, let's take a look. Here's what Webster's has to say about it. A usually tawdry nightclub or dance hall, especially one that features country music. A district marked by places of cheap entertainment. Here's probably my favorite. Country music that has a heavy beat and lyrics usually dealing with vice or misfortune. The origin of the term is disputed, but the earliest known printed use of the word is in 1874 in a newspaper article in Illinois. The police spent a busy day today raiding the baños and honky-tonks. Baño is an old, old Latin-based term that means bathhouse or brothel, not to be confused with the Spanish word baño, which means toilet or washroom. But anyway, in the 1890s, more newspaper articles were using the term honky-tonk, and it seems to coincide with the corridor running from Dallas to South Central Oklahoma. And this was a, a cattle trail that the cowboys were using to drive their cattle to market. So it seems like these dusty old cowboys were spreading honky-tonk around like, uh, yeah. The first musical genre to be considered honky-tonk was a style of piano playing based loosely on ragtime. It concentrated more on the rhythm than the melody because the pianos in these joints were pretty crappy, out of tune, keys not working. So they worked around that and did what they could. <laughs> Beat the hell out of that damn thing. That's what I'm talking about. One theory is that the word tonk came from a brand name of piano that was manufactured by William Tonk and Brothers. Now, William and Max Tonk, I love that name. I wish my name was Max Tonk. Established the Tonk Brothers Manufacturing Company in 1873. So it might be possible, but the pianos were not manufactured until 1889, and the term honky tonk had already been established. Did I already say that I wish my name was Max Tonk? Honky tonks were considered to be pretty rough establishments back then, and some of them still are. I've actually played behind the chicken wire, certainly have. And, uh, you know, they provided alcohol and music to patrons in the Deep South, and some of them provided a little bit more adulterous style entertainment. On another note, the honky tonk is the urban form of the juke joint, which is the African-American version, and a story worth telling in its own right. Honky Tonk influenced the Boogie Woogie style of piano playing, and you can hear it in Jelly Roll Morton's 1938 record, Honky Tonk Music. In 1956, the Bill Doggett combo recorded the instrumental Honky Tonk, which went on to become a guitar standard. In the 1950s, Honky Tonk enjoyed its golden age with the popularity of Webb Pierce, Hank Williams, Lefty Frizzell, and George Jones. And even though the mainstream music industry has veered away from that style of music, you can still find bands and artists out there keeping the Honky Tonk music alive. So do yourself a favor and step into that Honky Tonk and grab yourself a cold one, hit the dance floor, you'd be glad you did. <laughs>